and welcome to Tech Talk, the banker's video series where we talk about all things fintech. I'm joined by Brian Pallas of uh, Opportunity Network. Brian, thank you for joining me. Thank uh, you very much for having me. Tell me, what is Opportunity Network? So Opportunity Network is something extremely simple. It is a platform that acts as a clearinghouse among banks. So each bank can invite through their own relationship managers their own best clients. And through our platform, all these clients can do deals the one with the others. So if you look at, the, look at that from the perspective of the customer, you are one of the top customers of a top bank in London, say Lloyd's or RBS or HSBC, you name it. And uh, through your bank, you have the ability to join a community where you'll be able to speak with all the other best clients of that bank and with all the other best clients of all those other banks worldwide. So say that you want to expand on other countries or you want to sell your company, you want to do anything that is worth at least a million, which is our minimum threshold, uh, you can find your counterpart on our platform. So our job starts when one of the customer has a business need and can publish it anonymously through our platform and ends when a counterparty uh, says, this is interesting for me, starts a conversation, and then we don't follow the deal, the bank does. So you're sort of a matchmaker, if, uh, if we want. But, um, what is the role of the banks yes. in the platform? So you are absolutely right. So we are matchmakers, and unlike normal matchmaking, where it's fairly easy to understand whether it's a guy or a girl on the other <laughs> side, and uh, you don't need a lot of screening, mm -hmm. when you talk about deals that on average are worth 40 millions, and the minimum is a million, it goes in the billion, you want to be pretty sure of who is on the other side. Although it's all anonymous, you want to know that everybody's qualified enough to justify your time and effort to undergo proper due diligence. Oh. So what banks are doing is exactly the following. They are guaranteeing for the quality of the customers that are populating this platform and on the other side are providing us the scale to make it big enough. So today we are in 78 countries, we work with 42 institutions and represent roughly 50 billion in, in deal flow. And so what banks are getting in return uh, from inviting their customer to this platform is number one, happier customers. Because this customer now have the ability to, to grow and make investments and uh, really achieve things that they would not have the counterpart for, but they would have the financial prowess to accomplish. Number two, those banks are then gonna serve the needs of these clients because whenever there is a financial need of a client, there will be a bank. But even more importantly, the main value for the bank is the following. Each customer joins our platform through its own bank and gets registered via VAT code. That VAT code identifies that customer among all the other customers. And we use it to link that customer to that specific financial institution. And uh, the reason why that's so important is because a customer may, customer may be working with three banks, five banks, 10 banks, doesn't matter. But in our system, that customer will be a client of that one specific bank. And that means that whenever the customer, and he knows it, mm -hmm. so it's, it's not kind of behind the back of the customer, the, the customer is fully aware, but whenever the customer is going to share it, a deal or look for a deal or connect to a deal or receive a connection, whatever he does, the relationship manager at that specific bank will be notified. So what does that it's, mean for so the bank? So he keeps the relationship with that bank. Correct. Yeah. What we are gonna enable the bank to do, and we're mm -hmm. already doing, mm -hmm. is to basically expand the share of wallet, the amount of money that um, the bank makes uh, out of the total spending of the customer uh, much higher on all the customers that are gonna bring in. So rather than banks giving us their customer, actually banks are buying exclusivity on the deal flow of their own customers. Right. And on the other side, the customer are getting the ability to access all the customer of all the banks that are part of the system. So the more you go, the more, like, the more you put in, the more mm -hmm. you get. Okay, and which markets have been more uh, interested in this system? Well, so far we are in 78 countries, so it's pretty well diversified. Mm -hmm. uh, our first bank joining the system was Intesa San Paolo in Italy, mm -hmm. and they've been in for more than a year now. So they have brought in, uh, at this point, uh, um, 3,000 customers in uh, the Italian market. And out of those 3,000 customers, they were able to receive 4,000 commercial leads within a year. Okay, so so it has been incredibly uh, successful for the bank itself. Very good. Well, a very interesting proposition. I'm sure that the corporate world uh, is starved for some good matchmaking opportunities. Thank so, you very much. So best of luck for the future. And again, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you very much.